Hi. Today I want to talk to you about something. Let me get over here real quick. Um, the coronavirus. What's the one thing that it's doing to most people? Well, most people can't get a hold of the toilet paper. It's unfortunate, but it's true. And today I'm going to talk to you about what do you do if you don't have any toilet paper? Yes, this is a really disgusting conversation. But, what do you do? Okay, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about a couple ways, basically, one way, well, two maybe, how to handle this situation. Now, I have some containers here. Now, this is different ways you can do this. A one gallon jug. Right here. Vegetable oil container. Ice cream container. Alright, if you have any one of these, or even a three liter uh, soda bottle, all right. On your jugs, you cut it about three quarters of the way up, enough to get your hand in there, definitely without getting yourself hurt on the edges. A bottle like this, cut it about here. You got plenty of room for your hand and water. And if you have something like this, I would suggest you use something like this because it does have a lid. What are you going to do if you have no toilet paper? Well, there's a couple things you can do. And I'm not going to ramble on about how a bunch of people that have money are buying out all the toilet paper. I understand in a way they're scared. To me, the only way a person would either hoard um, cases of toilet paper is if they're too scared to leave their house. Or, this is a big or, they're jacking up the price, like on eBay or Amazon, and trying to make a killing, you know, when other people are hurting. Now, if you've watched any of my videos, you know I have an emergency kit. I do have toilet paper in my emergency kit. Um, I am up to six rolls in my emergency kit. But we do have toilet paper under the sink in the bathroom. Um, the reason I'm making this video, we went to the store the other day. We go to the store once every two weeks. We buy cat litter, cat food, cat treats. That's a must. If you own a cat, you know if you run out of food, they will hurt you. So, that's a no-no. That cat has to have food or you're going to regret it. So, every two weeks, we go buy cat food, cat litter, and cat treats for midnight. And midnight is a demon cat, especially when he's out of something. And we were walking by the toilet paper aisle. Not a lick of toilet paper anywhere to be seen. There were actually people fighting and arguing over the paper towels so they could use that to wipe with. Now I live in Missoula, Montana and we've called around to all the stores Lowe's, Home Depot, um, you name it. Uh, there's two Walmarts here. Both are out. Target's out. So every store in this town is out of toilet paper with maybe the exception of small gas stations that people just haven't got to yet. And the prices of those are sky high. Alright, what do you do if you're out of toilet paper? If you can get to a store there's a couple things you need to buy. One, 
you know if you don't have a gallon jug or something that you can do this with you have to buy something I would suggest just buying a bottle of water because it's the cheapest way you can get a type of container that you can use for this or you will also need something else but you won't be able to use it until the bottle is pretty much full now you're probably going what am I talking about how am I going to do without toilet paper okay no joke cut it off put water and some white vinegar the white vinegar will help keep bacteria from growing and spreading alright say you don't have white vinegar or you don't have the money for white vinegar and to go buy a container or anything else do not use anything plastic unless you're willing to throw that away later don't grab a big plastic bowl out from where you keep your dishes okay don't grab a pan the only way you can use some type of pan is if you have trash bags two or three trash bags layered in it to keep that from getting to your pan itself okay and don't use those cheap Walmart bags you need something with some thickness and that's why I say two or three trash bags where you put the trash bag in and, and put it over the side you know and tape it up around there or whatever that you could do and keep it out of your pan if you have to use a bowl of some type use glass glass one is much easier to clean it doesn't keep bacteria like plastic does and just so you know I hope you can see this we do have toilet paper this is just in our emergency kit you can use Kleenexes or some type of Kleenex but these are extremely thin so unless you have to don't use those unless you have to because they're very thin and avoid 100% avoid the Kleenex with lotion if you're going to use it for toilet paper it may cause serious irritation okay now let's talk about this yes this is a dirty job talking about this what are you going to do if you're out of toilet paper if you don't have access to vinegar I do suggest if you can get vinegar get some if you can't then I'll cover that too use washcloths put water in your container put some vinegar in there put like a quarter cup of vinegar I'd say for a half gallon of water that vinegar will help keep bacteria from growing and it also help keep the smell down if, if you don't change your water often you can even use something like a sock to wipe yourself with if you have to I would say go with the washcloths for a, a very good reason um, most washcloths have little bumps in them like little strands there that will get you cleaner faster plus you take your washcloth dip it in your water pull it out rinse it out real good fold it up wipe flip that over wipe open it up flip it on the inside outside fold it up wipe and then wipe with the other side 
and then put it right back in your water with your vinegar. Take your hand, swish it around, clean it up a little bit, put your lid on it. Now if you don't have one of these, and say you just have one of these, just a, a regular one gallon jug, cut it about here. You want to make sure your hand can get in and out without an issue because you don't want anything sharp there and it can go in and out through the top just like I did over there on the um, ice cream container. Same with the glass bowl. Put some vinegar water in it. Try to avoid anything white if possible unless you're willing to actually pretty much throw it away. And once again, avoid anything with lotion in it. That can cause serious irritation. Now if you don't have vinegar, alright, I'm just going to use the bowl here. If you don't have vinegar, what do you do? First, you put water in it. Your washcloth doesn't have to sit in there. Once you wipe yourself, put it in there, swish it around real good, try to clean it as much as possible. Rinse it and hang it up, say in your bathtub or hang it up outside. Dump your water in your toilet, rinse that bowl out, dump it out a couple times flush your toilet and put some more clean water in in your bowl and you're probably going okay I'm never gonna use that bowl again trust me glass will clean up plastic on the other hand will not so make sure whatever you're gonna use you know can either be thrown away or, or can be cleaned And like I said, I'm making this because I have seen online where people have just wiped out stores and they're trying to make a fortune on selling toilet paper. Don't use anything. Now, this does not have lotion. It'd be okay. If you use paper towels, cut them down because they will stop up your toilet if you try to use whole paper towels. The one key thing, wash your hands. You do not need hand sanitizer. That's a waste of money. You don't need it. All you need is regular soap and water. Wash your hands up to here, both sides. Wash them real good with soap and water. Rinse off your soap, set it back over in your soap dish, and you know, get all the soap off. And some people are probably thinking, well, what if I don't have vinegar? Can I put soap or shampoo in the water? You know, clean up a little bit extra. Definitely not. Let's say you have a container. And you have soap and water in there. And you're wiping with that soap and water. I want you to think about how much, one, that will probably start making you itch. And two, that will irritate you. You know, when I was a kid, which was a really long time ago, and I don't know if kids still do it now, but you could put a soap, a bar of soap under your armpit and it would make you run a fever if you didn't want to go to school. Now, I didn't do that because, well, my parents would have killed me, literally, but I had friends that did. And they would get red marks and rashes from that soap and it would irritate them. So you don't want soap definitely where, you know, there's a hole there and it can irritate you it can cause a rash 
it can make you itch constantly so don't use soap for this if you don't have vinegar just use regular water you know swish out it your wash is really good you can use more than one container if you have to or just use two different washcloths whatever for different people uh, swish it around real good wring it out hang it up somewhere empty it swish it out flush it in your toilet you know make sure this is at least clean and put some clean water in it and remember if you really want to stay a little bit cleaner and keep things cleaner use white vinegar you don't need a whole lot depends on what you're using but whatever you're going to be using for this you will have to throw out unless it is glass such as this glass bowl or some type of metal container that is um, you have something in to keep the water off the metal and this is not to go to the bathroom in this is to wipe if you have nothing so don't worry you can always find something and like I said I'm making this video because while we do have toilet paper a lot of people don't a lot of stores are completely out and a lot of people are making a lot of money jacking the prices up on toilet paper I mean I've been on eBay seven eight dollars for a single roll of toilet paper on eBay these people are selling toilet paper literally by the squares so if you can't get your hands on toilet paper do not spend seventy eighty dollars buying a six pack of toilet paper I mean it makes no sense anyway I understand I'm really boring in this video but I had to discuss this don't give in to somebody else's greed and don't despair if you run out of toilet paper look around your house you know okay you have washcloths you can use them even if you don't have a wash machine you can wash those washcloths out in a container with like bleach in it or even vinegar or dishwashing liquid or laundry soap you can wash it out by hand yet yeah, I know it's kind of disgusting to even think about that but think about paying eighty dollars to somebody for six rolls of toilet paper that may only last you a few days if you have more than one person in your family that could be your food money that could be your rent money that could just be money in general that you need to survive on later down the road socks are more or less not the best thing to use but can you of course you can washcloths they're really cheap and they hold up really well now I do advise you not using white unless you have to brown orange even blue but I would try to avoid white I'm making this video to try to help other people out because in the long run as long as there's people with money and as long as there's people that work at these places and call their friends up and go hey yeah we got shipment coming in to toilet paper most regular people and customers are not going to be able to get it you know they say that there's no toilet paper shortage in the United States but yet every store is sold out of toilet paper like I said if you run out don't despair if you go to the store and if you can afford it get some white vinegar 
add that to your water it'll help freshen you up and keep you clean use a washcloth you can always wash these you can buy these things at the dollar store in like four packs for a dollar you know so if it gets stained up you can always junk it or you can throw it in a wash machine or you know whatever if you're one of those people who keeps you know who goes out and buys 20 cases of toilet paper you're one of two things to me one you're a coward or you're greedy and selfish the reason I say that is if you're buying 20 cases of toilet paper so you don't leave, have to leave your house in six months till you see what this coronavirus is going to do you're a coward the coronavirus has killed way less people than the flu every year but if you're one of those people who goes out and buys 20 cases of toilet paper and puts it on eBay for eight to ten dollars a roll you're just greedy unfortunately I don't know what else you can do in a situation you find something to wipe with you find something to clean yourself with and you find a way to clean whatever you're using and wash your hands this is important make sure you wash your hands anyway that's it I apologize this video is really long and I do have the light on the camera so I hope it doesn't glare too much and next time you go to the store check on white vinegar you don't need a lot you know anyway that's it I hope this helps you out and everyone have a good day